Chapter 8. Decisions. In the last chapter, we introduced you to the basic operators in PHP. In this chapter, we'll start off by looking at the comparison operators. These are most often used in conjunction with decision keywords, which give your program the ability to take different courses of action, also called branching, by testing values in a program. Comparisons and decisions are essential to creating scripts with advanced capabilities. Comparison operators are just what they sound like. They provide the ability to compare two values. All of these operators return a value of true or false based on the results of the test. The simplest comparison is the equal to operator. Be especially careful with this one. It consists of two equal symbols, not one. If you accidentally use one equal sign, it's interpreted as the assignment operator, which is probably not what you intended. Using the equal to operator, you can check whether one value or variable is equivalent to another. The not equal to operator is just as simple, only the reverse of the equal to operator. All of the other mathematical comparisons are available, including less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Let's try experimenting with a few comparison operators in example 9a. There are two simple statements in this program. The first assigns the value of 1 to from quantity. The second uses the familiar echo command, but it's the stuff after this that's new. What we're looking at here is a comparison statement, testing whether from quantity is equal to 0. Because we've assigned 1 to from quantity right above it, we can reasonably expect this to be false. Taking a quick peek over in the browser, the displayed result might surprise you a bit. The page shows up blank because the result of the comparison expression did indeed evaluate to false. Displaying variables directly through the use of the echo command can often yield unexpected results like this. A much better approach is to use the var dump function. We'll have a look at functions in more detail in chapter 11. But for now, just remember that you can output the value stored in a variable by using the var dump function name and supplying the variable or expression you want to see the result of inside of brackets. With this modified line, the browser shows us more what we'd expect, that the result is false. We can confirm that it works the other way around by changing the value we're comparing to to the same one that from quantity was initialized to. Refreshing the page in the browser, we see that now the result is true. So what do we do with these comparisons now? Well, let's have a look at the if keyword. Shown here are decisions in PHP. On the left is the way we would write it within a block of PHP code, while on the right is the equivalent code but formatted to use in an HTML template section. Computers make decisions based on the result of a comparison, also called a condition. Very much like in English, most programming languages have an if keyword that prevents the execution of a block of code if the condition is false. Have a look at the next example, 9b. Since we've initialized from quantity to 1, the only comparison that evaluates to true is this one. If from quantity is less than or equal to 5. So everything within the curly braces is executed, and we can expect to see this string displayed in the browser. Decisions can be made more complex by adding an optional else block. All of the statements contained within this block will be executed only if the if condition was false. In this example, notice that it's possible for more than one of the conditions to be true. Try changing the initialized value and see how the program responds. Change it to 5, save the file, and refresh the page in your browser. Now, the first two conditions are true. Try changing it to 10, save the file again, go back to the browser and refresh the page. Now, the else part of the second test is executed because the first part of it is false. Example 9c uses the same comparisons and decisions as in the previous example, only formatted using the template style. We've added another keyword to this example as well. The ELSIF keyword lets us create a decision structure where only one block can be executed. There can be as many of these blocks after an IF block as needed, 
and the optional else block can still be used. This example will output one of three colored strings depending on the value that color is initialized to. With this structure, it's not possible to see more than one of these at the same time, because PHP ignores everything after the decision that evaluates to true. As we'd expect, loading the script in our browser shows us the word green in green. Try changing the initialized value of color to 3. Now we have blue in the browser. Finally, change it to any value except 1, 2, or 3, like 0, and the result is gray. This chapter started off by introducing the comparison operators that compare two values and return true or false. Then we showed how decisions enable your PHP scripts to change in response to conditions within a program. In the next few chapters, we'll see how decisions can be combined with loops and user input to make complex web page functionality very simple.